The team is the key. Without the team, you're nothing. The balance of the team has to be right. Um, investing in a great HR department and a great uh, personnel manager who can um, liaise with the team, understand your staff. We want our employees to have a goal when they come and work for us. Now, you've got to want to achieve something to come here and you want to learn. You come in as one thing and we'd like you to leave as something else. I want fine dining and I want this two-star Michelin restaurant to be accessible and enjoyable and not seen as a luxury. I want people to enjoy the experience here. I want them to, to come here and feel relaxed rather than feel tense. You have a great rapport with your waiter. Maybe go in the kitchen and meet the chef. What drives change on my menu um, has to be Mother Nature. Mother Nature provides you with a larger of ingredients at certain times during the course of 12 months. That's why I believe a chef in this country should always be cooking food and produce from the land. My chef's job, my head chef and my sous chefs are to understand the supplier and understand where your food comes from. And I want them to search high and low for the best produce, the right time and be ready for that produce when it's in season, it hits the menu straight away. We are now going into the autumn winter season and it excites me with all of the game. We've got Christmas around the corner, we've got white truffles just starting, perigo truffles. And as soon as I've got over that, spring's going to be around the corner and we're going to be thinking, all getting all excited about spring produce. Then the summer, the fruit, every season is beautiful, every season is different. I couldn't choose one, they all excite me. Customer feedback is crucial. If you don't listen to your customers, you're destined to go nowhere. Your menu, your restaurant will fail. They are the people that come and pay the bill. They look on your website, they look at your menus, they read your articles, they read reviews, and they go on that interpretation. When they come to your dining room, they have a picture formed. Our job is to deliver it. Now, with social media, networking, blogging, you're getting constant feedback all the time. If you choose to ignore it, you ain't gonna last long. The smoked egg dish on my lunch menu um, is a real taste of autumn. It's field mushrooms that have been beautifully prepared and washed, cut up into small pieces, and then pan fried with a little bit of oil and a touch of butter. The egg is an egg yolk which has been beautifully smoked, so it's sort of a little smoky flavour. It's a flavour that I'm looking for that you're not expecting within the dish. Then you've got the toast on the side with the butter, you break the egg, you mix it all into the mushrooms and you just have an amazing experience. For me, it's autumn on a plate. My lemon dish is a take on the lemon pie that I used to have when I was a young boy when I used to be at home with my mum and a dish that she used to make. We've deconstructed it and made it lighter, fresher, it's pastry based, it's a lemon curd that's very, very lightly set, very, very delicate, little meringues that are all over it, pastry case on top and then the tea sorbet to go with it. It's a very delicate version of a lemon meringue pie. It's refreshing and it's a beautiful palate cleanser at the end of any meal.